Today, Friday, October 23rd, the Ministry of Health and Wellness received confirmation of six new confirmed cases of COVID-19. This brings a total number of cases diagnosed to date in country to 48. Case number 43 is a close contact of case number 39. Cases 43 to 48 all reside in the same household in the Castries district. This brings a total number of active confirmed cases currently isolated in care to 21. Case number 43 is a 40-year-old male. Case number 44 is a 38-year-old female. Case number 45 is a 3-year-old female. Case number 46 is a 12-year-old female. Case number 47 is a 4-year-old male. And case number 48 is a 47-year-old female from the Groselet district. This is the single highest number of cases diagnosed within one day. As the Ministry of Health and Wellness continues its response to cases, it is important to state that with the increasing number of cases that each individual recognizes that they have the ability to reduce the spread of this virus. By keeping to the infection prevention and control guidelines, the spread of the virus from one person to another can be stopped. The Ministry of Health, we make a strong appeal once again to everyone that if you are experiencing respiratory symptoms, which include cough, sore throat, fever, please promptly seek care at the closest respiratory clinic. Anyone experiencing these symptoms should not be in the workplace participating in social activities or in public places like banks, supermarkets, or stores. The Ministry of Health, we take this opportunity to remind everyone that it is important to ensure a mask is always worn in public places, maintain the six foot physical distance from the next person, which is about two arms distance or two arms length, and follow the floor markers in public places where they are available. Wash and sanitize your hands throughout the day and to cover your sneeze and cough with a tissue or use your inner elbow when tissue is not available. The Ministry of Health and Wellness, we will continue providing you with regular updates on COVID-19 as this information becomes available.